everyone. Uh, my name is Jung Park, and today I wanted to talk to you about Enzyme. So what is Enzyme? Enzyme is a JavaScript testing utility for React. And um, it was actually open source pretty recently by Airbnb just last year, 2016. So it's actually pretty brand new. And what it does, it makes front-end testing pretty easy. Before it, it was possible, but it was pretty difficult. So why? Let's recap why we need to write test code. Um, first reason, if we can find problems early, and it's also easier to change without breaking. It's especially true if you have really complex code base. Let's say you want to update some system library, or you want to refactor some, like some of the code. With the you know, npm test enter, you can easily find out if you already broke your uh, software or not. So it's pretty handy. And it's also a documentation your test code can act as kind of a you know, living documentation of your code. You know, other developers can look at your code um, and you know, really understand what is the expected outcome of your code. And also design. We all know why test-driven development is a good thing. So testing we have seen so far, these two libraries, Mochai and Chai. Mochai was, is a JavaScript test framework, and Chai is a assertion library. Mocha provides API like describe, it before each, and Chai provides expect should assert. So these are kind of a test that we have seen so far, right? So this is a pretty basic test of this, you know, built-in JavaScript function, math absolute. Moving on, but how do we test UI? When I was thinking that in my head, like, you know, it, it just it just seemed like a magic. How do you, how do you like test the UI? But what is UI? UI is essentially a pure function of a state, right? So in a React component, this pure function is a render. And what is pure function? Given the same input, we, the output should always be the same. So, you know, um, since we, so we, if we are, are given the input, you know, we should already be able to predict the outcome. So we should be able to test. But what makes it difficult? What makes it um, difficult is a scope. So here's a kind of like a component tree I have. And um, let's say um, you want to you know, test um, for just this purple you know, component in the middle of the component tree. What makes it difficult is that with the regular rendering, um, when you render that purple component, not only that component gets rendered, but also child component gets rendered too. So it would be difficult to isolate testing just that component. But um, React library also provides this method of shallow rendering. What shallow rendering does is that you can isolate uh, testing just that component. But before Enzyme, um, shallow rendering testing was still difficult because it was difficult to you know, find this React component. You would have to you know, traverse from your root component and then you do like you know, React component dot props, 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 and you know, find that component. So what Enzyme provides, this is where Enzyme comes in, it, it exports this method called shallow. And what this shallow does is that you can pass in the React component, and it will return you um, jQuery-like wrapper that wraps around this shallow render tree. So let's look at some example. Here I have really simple React component called test, and it has div with the class name foo, and also inside there's a span with the class name bar, and it's, it has a text that says test. So if we pass this React component to the shallow method, we can get this, you know, I, I like to think of it as kind of like a virtual toy I can, you know, use to like, you know, throw around and test with. Then I, have, I wrote a pretty simple um, test for this test component, and it has two test cases. Um, first test case says it includes one div with the class foo, and um, Enzyme also provides this uh, API called find, and it's, it has expect wrapper find div foo. So you can pass in either um, CSS selector or constructor or object that maps to props. Then it will find that particular element in the wrapper for you. Then it expects um, that to have length of one, and it does. We only have one div foo, so this pass should pass. And second test, very similar, it finds this um, span bar element inside of wrapper, and it expects its um, text to be equal to test. And it does, so this should pass too. For a second example, I wanted to do a quick demo, actually with the um, 
uh, code that I ri have written for my senior enrichment project. Uh, so let me get right out of here and go back to Visual Studio. So here is a test code that I wrote. So as you can see, I'm you know, importing shallow method and a bunch of other testing, um, testing libraries. Um, and yeah, I'm here importing this campus item. And that is, um, it's a, it's, it was a React component that is um, used in you know, multiple different components. And before each, I'm passing in this campus data that has ID, name, image of a campus, and also description. And I'm creating this campus spy, uh, which, is, uh, which is what this um, library called sign-on provides. It you know, let you um, check if the function was called or not. Then I am calling the shallow um, method from Enzyme, and I'm creating the wrapper with this campus item react component then I'm for the props I'm passing in campus and remove campus campus is just an object uh, for an object that has a campus data and remove campus is actually like a callback function for a button instead of this campus item and inside I have three tests first two tests are pretty similar to ones that we have seen before is finding this particular um, HTML element inside of a react component and it's checking if it has a correct data in it First is looking for the strong element, and second is looking for this image element. And third is actually a little bit different, and that this is a little bit, another neat thing about Enzyme is that it also provides this API called Stimulate. And what it can do is you ca it can actually simulate um, user events for you. So you wouldn't ha actually have to manually test, you know, clicking to verify that, you know, some function is called or not. So here is finding this button inside of the wrapper, and you can stimulate click button, and campus spy that we passed into um, to the props here, we can check if it has been called or not. Okay, so let me actually run this test. And it should all fail because I actually manually broke it. Um, so let's actually, as a developer, we would like to go in and fix our bugs, right? So let's go to our campus item. Here is our uh, my really simple React component, and um, first test case says renders a correct campus title instead of a strong element, but it looks like instead of a name, I'm passing in description. That seems wrong, so let me fix that. And also, it expects image item image element to be inside of this thumbnail, but somehow this div element that wraps around image is actually above this div, thumbnail div. So let me just delete that and put this back in. And tap. Oh, I gotta tap one more time. Then uh, it looks like this button on click handler for this button is calling this, uh, this suspicious function called fake remove. That doesn't seem right, right? So let me replace that with actual function. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to run it again. Oh, it's still failing. To start remove campus. Uh, huh. Let me comment out this code too. Oh, not this start remove campus. Sorry, it will just be remove campus. So I'm already using this constructor here. So call it again. And hopefully, it will pass. Thank you. OK. Uh, so that was that. And what's more, um, Enzyme also provides two other methods, like mount and render. Mount is for full DOM rendering. And you can use to test for this lifecycle method, like component did mount. Did it get called? And render, the render function actually is uh, render um, React component to static HTML. But Enzyme's doc suggests that you start using shallow to test your React component. But if you need more functionality, maybe look at mount and render. And here are resources. Um, and that was it for me. Thank you.